What's good, Commanders fans? Pretty big news here. This is from Adam Shafter and basically every beat reporter out there. They said a big move for the Washington Commanders. They are hiring 49ers assistant head coach Anthony Lynn as their run game coordinator per league source. Commanders made a run at Anthony Lynn last year, but get him this year. Here's, here's one reason why. Anthony Lynn is close with head coach Dan Quinn and GM, and obviously, of course, general manager Adam Peters, who was there last year with the Niners. They're the past couple seasons with the Niners as Anthony Lynn has been there as well. Um, so they certainly have a good relationship for sure. And that's a big reason why he's here, man. And I'm not going to say this is a demotion, but I mean, technically it is. You know, he was the assistant head coach with the Niners, with Kyle Shanahan over there. And then he comes over here to be the run game coordinator. There is not going to be an assistant head coach really here um, in D.C. And he comes here to do that. I mean, this guy has a decorated resume. I keep talking about the resume, resume, resume. And this guy has the definition of a excellent, excellent resume. You look what he's done with Christian McCaffrey. Um, you look at what he did with the Bills with LaShawn McCoy, um, DeAndre Swift with the Lions, um, making the playoffs. With you know, you, you, he's he had some questionable years as a head coach, but he did win a playoff game. He went one on one in the in the postseason with Philip Rivers and the uh, Chargers as well. And um, shout out to Jennifer King. I like her a lot from the outside looking in, but, you know, I don't know if he's going to be the running back coach as well or this is just going to be technically taking over the running back position. But we learned last night that Jennifer King will not be the running backs coach. She still may be in the building in some way, some capacity. But um, you just look at some of the num numbers for Anthony Lynn and just some of some of the statistics that back up his, his great resume, what he's done um, so far. This is from uh, shout out to Mason Kinahan on Twitter. He says, uh, running EPA, rushing EPA per play under Anthony Lynn with the Buffalo Bills. They were fifth 2016. They were first with the Bills. He was ninth in the league in 2017 with the Chargers fifth again in 2018, 18th. It fell off in 2019, 2020 fell off in tw with the 20. They were 28th, 2021. They were 24th. And then with San Fran, they were 11th and 2023 with San Fran. He was first with Christian McCaffrey having a great season. Elijah Mitchell as well had a good season. Um, you saw what he did with, what did, what did with Justin Herbert. I know that's not with the run game, but still, you know, he was there with Justin Herbert when Justin Herbert had a great rookie season. He coached up Tyrod Taylor when he was with the Bills. Tyrod Taylor threw 20 touchdowns and only six interceptions. So he got the best out of Tyrod Taylor, just having that run game balance, helping him out. So that was huge too. But um, Anthony Lynn, as an offensive coordinator or a running back or run game coordinator, I think this is a home run hire, and this is a really, really good hire by Dan Quinn. Um, you look at some of the numbers, obviously, with Christian McCaffrey, who just had a heck of a season uh, the past two seasons. Uh, they San Fran finished eighth in rush attempts, third in rushing yards, and first in rush TDs. And the Niners averaged 4.8 yards per carry. Christian McCaffrey finished the year with 2,000-plus yards from scrimmage and 21 touchdowns. So a big complaint that we had last year was that the enemy just never really ran the ball as much as he, as he should have or, or never really just got the run game going and there was really no balance is that something that you know of course cliff and um and uh, uh anthony lynn will be working together of course all that's going to really all that's really going to be deter determined by cliff kingsbury but can we get the run game going instead of fourth and one doing a shotgun run what kind of um scheme is anthony lynn gonna have you know with kyle shanahan they did a great job together just everywhere anthony lynn is gone the run game has has been really even with the Jets. The run game was good with like Chris Ivory and guys like that. Uh, you know, he coached Julio Jones one year. Like I said, Lashawn McCoy had a great year with the Bills as well. So I'll look up some of the guy, other guys that he worked with as well. DeAndre Swift with the Lions had 617 yards and 151 uh, carries and had the second most receptions on the team with 62. Um, you look at uh, let's see who else. Like I said, the Bills. Running back Sean Green racked up 2,117 total rushing yards, which was 10th most among all players uh, in that span as well. 2008, he coached running back Jamal Lewis, who finished the season with 279 carries and 1,002 yards. So this is really good for B-Rob, man. Antonio Gibson, we'll see if he comes back or not, but I think he will get the best out of B-Rob. Um, Chris Rodriguez or whoever we get, and we got to get it. We got to get a speed back. We got to get a third down back, a speed back a home run hitter, a scat back. We got to get a guy like a J.D. McKissick or like a Chris Thompson that we had. We just don't have that home run hitter on the team. It was supposed to be Antonio Gibson. He did it a few times, but we just don't have that speedy home run back. And uh, the Niners have that in Christian McCaffrey. Elijah Mitchell does it a little bit here and there too. But um, he coached Fred Taylor with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had a career high 1,084 rushing yards on 267, 267 yard uh, carries, 267 carries for 1,084 yards uh, with running back Fred Taylor. Uh, Coach Julio Jones as well. 
um, with Dallas um, and, uh, and Anthony Lynn. He played in the NFL as well. So he has that experience as well. We have a lot of guys who played in the league on the staff. So I think it's a good staff. A lot of people have been complaining about comments um, about Bobby Johnson and a little bit about bringing back Tavita Pritchard, even though, you know, he didn't, you know, you saw how Sam Howell kind of regressed. So, so a lot of people complain about Tavita Pritchard being brought back and Bobby Ingram being brought back when some of the receivers regressed. But I think overall, uh, the staff is a darn good staff. I think it's a solid staff for sure. It's a lot of wait and see. We got to see what these guys are on the field. So I'm not just going to, you know, uh, say hooray and, and, and kumbaya and all this stuff already because it's way too early. It's a wait and see approach. We got to see how this how they do on the field, obviously. But from the outside looking in, just looking at the hires, um, I think all these hires are legitimate, solid hires. Also, they, they hired a um, defensive backs coach. As well, I gotta see that guy's name. I think his name is like Tom Donatello. I had, I was not, I have not been able to. Don Tom Donatello is the DB's coach per source. This is from Nikki Javala, so I don't have a lot of inf information on him right now. But right now, like I said, Anthony Lynn, he, you know, it's a, it's a sexy hire. It's a sexy hire, man. Coach the team went to the playoffs. Was offensive coordinator, associate head coach with. The uh, Bills was an interim head coach with the Bills as well. So a lot of experience there coming in from Anthony Lynn. So like I said, I'm not going to be disrespectful to Jennifer King and just say that, you know, we're going from a Jennifer King to Anthony Lynn. So I'm not going to say all that and stuff like that. But um, I, this is a, this is a good hire, man. It's a good hire. There's nothing negative to say about that. Nothing to, nothing but good things to say about hiring Anthony Lynn. And obviously that was the, com the connection from uh, Adam Peters to bring him in. So I'm intrigued to see what happens with the running back group. Brian Roberts had a good year last year. Want to see him improve. Gibson, we'll see if he comes back. Chris Rodriguez, let's see if he can improve. Let's see if he can get a good third down back or just a, a, a change of pace back, like a thunder and lighten, lightning to help out B-Rob. So, all right, guys, you guys let me know what you guys think. Health Commanders, peace.